Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that connecting rod exercise now in Inventor. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, first I need some planes. So let's go for a plane and this one should have a distance to that one, yes. And the distance should be 750 maybe just make them visible okay then i need another one with a distance to the xy plane in that direction it should be 30 and another one in this direction minus 30 and the last one from this one should be a distance of 9, 5 divided by 2. Okay. Let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. Let's project this geometry. And I need a rectangle which starts here, goes over there. Let's see if it snapped. Yes, it snapped. Great. And this should be a center line. And the distance should be 22.5 radius or 45 diameter. Finish that sketch and make a revolve with that sketch. Yes, make it 360 degrees. Next sketch on the XY plane again, another rectangle. Let's project that pl plane. No, I don't need that plane. I could do it without the plane. So this should be again a center line. This should be 110 in diameter. Now, the distance from this point to that one should be 61. And from the point to that one, it should be 135. Let's align the point with that axis. And now I need a circle. Here, diameter should be 80. The distance from that point to that line should be a distance, and that would be 62.5. Now let's align the point with that line. Is it? No, not yet. This point should be right there. Let's go for trim. Like this. And finish that sketch. Let's make another revolve. Again, 360 degrees. And OK. Let's add some fillets. One with 55 millimeter. On this edge, apply, and another one with 10 millimeters on that edge, and OK. Another sketch, again on the XY plane. Let's project that first block plane. And I need a rectangle. This one should be a center line. Dimension should be 110. Move it over here. Okay. That distance should be 105. 
this distance should be 105 as well. Let's align that origin point here with the line. Maybe you could slice the graphics, add the circle, 18 diameter. This point should be aligned with that line here. The distance from that point to that center line should be not a diameter but 62.5. Let's go for a trim. And I could try to make this 65 here, but I think it will not work, so I will do it in the sketch. So go for a fillet from this line to that one. And this should be not 2, but 65 like that. Finish that sketch, make another revolve, and confirm. Now it's now maybe it's time to split that body or in this case I could trim the body so go for a split go for go for a trim solid I want to trim the solid yes with work plane 2 turn it around apply again split it with work plane 3 direction is okay and Confirm. Nice. Now I need a sketch on the top plane. That's the exact plane. I need a circle. Diameter should be 110. That point should be aligned with the origin right here. Maybe slice the graphics. I need a rectangle. Yeah, it should be, of course, bigger, maybe like that. And let's align that point with the midpoint here. So it's symmetric. Give it dimensions, this could be maybe one hundred and fifty, and that dimension might be one hundred, and I want to trim, so let's put this point onto that line. Yeah, that point not so go for select other. I need just that point, yes. And this should be on that one. Okay. Now I can trim. Yep. And this should be yeah, you may have to make sure that the center of that circle, select other, the point should be on that line as well. And now I should be able to move it. No, still not really. So make this collinear. No. Where is my plane? There is my plane. The plane should be, of course, projected into the sketch. Okay. Now I could give it a dimension of 105 to that point. Make sure. Let's zoom in. So it's tangent. Yes. 105. And I need another line. 
this should be a center line. You should constrain it completely, 200. And this point should be aligned with that one. And the distance from here to this one is 60. Finish that sketch. Let's make a revolve. Make it symmetric, but this time cut. 90 degrees is okay. You could go for a smaller value, it doesn't matter. Great. And let's add 10 millimeter fillet on this edge and on that edge. No, that's the wrong one. No, that's the right one. And okay. Time for some more bodies. I could hide that one. And let's make another sketch on the XY plane. This will be a circle. Diameter should be 70. Then I need a rectangle. This should be 54. Should be centered somehow. So these two points should be aligned. And that distance from the point or from the circle to that line, so go from here to there, is 55. Now I can trim. So I lost. Of course, I should have used that point. Finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude with that sketch, make it symmetric, make it maybe 80, and make it a new body. And confirm. Next sketch on the top plane, another rectangle. Length should be 44. And the width should be 30, like this. Slice the graphics. And the distance from the point to that line should be 36. Yep. And of course, this should be aligned like that. Finish that sketch. Let's make an extrude, make it another new body, make it symmetric and make it maybe 120. Confirm. Now let's make a fillet, make it a full round fillet. Center face and the third face here and confirm. Now a sketch on that plane, another circle, not here, sorry, but over there, and diameter should be 30. Center should be aligned with that one, and the distance should be 56. Slice the graphics. So I missed one dimension here with this extrusion. No, that's right, but that dimension is wrong. This should be not 30 but 54. Let's make an extrude with that sketch, make it in one direction, yes, make it maybe 20. Join it, yes, 
now let's mirror that feature so mirror feature yes this feature that extrusion with the that plane here the mirror plane should be this one i suppose yes and confirm now let's join those combine base is this one and the tool body is that one okay should be one solid yes let's make a pattern rectangular pattern we go for a body that's the body yes direction would be the x axis yes and the distance should be 750 now let's bring back this body i could give that body a different color maybe make it magenta then show this body and now subtract from this base that one and okay now i need those two holes in order to make them i need points so good for a sketch as well so i will do it with a just a simple extrude on the last plane this one this will be a circle slice the graphics diameter is eight millimeters finish that sketch let's make an extrude make it a cut make it asymmetric and this should go to next and the second direction should go so that's not possible so i will go for asymmetric and some values maybe like 20 and 20 and confirm i could go for between then pattern this as well pattern the feature that extrusion direction again the x-axis distance again seven five zero and i'm done let's hide those elements and these as well So hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook captain page it would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye